Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here from the Tech Slugs, and I'm going to be showing you today how to root your Moto E 4th generation on 7.1.1. So, I think this is a great phone for making money. I know some of you probably aren't here for this, but if you want to learn how to make money with smartphones, I will leave a link above you. Uh, the Moto E 4th generation, this is the Amazon Prime exclusive, as you just saw the lock screen ads. In my experience, the bootloader is unlockable. I have two of these. I unlock both of the bootloaders. And I will go through with you how to unlock the bootloader today because that's the first step in rooting. But the first step in the process when you're going to unlock the bootloader or root a phone is you have to go into your settings. You have to go to about phone and you have to tap the build number a few times in order to get developers options. So once you get developer options, then you have to go in and you have to enable OEM unlocking. The reason mine is grayed out is because I already am bootloader unlocked. And then another thing I do while I'm here is enable USB debugging. So now what you have to do is power off your Moto E 4th generation and we will go ahead and unlock the bootloader or I'm going to go through the process with you. Now, keep in mind, uh, I'm rooted with Magisks. I'm gonna talk to you about how to root with Super S-U-P-H-H. I believe uh, that's how you would say it, um, or Magis. I recommend you do some research on that on your own. And once you are powered off, you have to press the power button and the volume down at the same time. This way we can access Fastboot. And from this point, you're going to have to go onto your computer. Now I'm using Mac and Fastboot because Fastboot is in ADB or available on Mac. But if you have a Windows, no problem. You follow these exact commands and it won't be an issue. So that's the first thing you have to download, uh, ADB and Fastboot. For all download links, please check the description. One other thing you're going to need to download is the Motorola USB drivers, either for Windows or for Mac, depending on what you're using. That is so that they can uh, communicate when you're doing Fastboot. Once you've downloaded Fastboot and ADB, you have to navigate to the folder, most likely in your downloads folder and you will see the fast boot. Now open up command prompt or terminal, depending on if you're Windows or Mac. Mac it is terminal, Windows command prompt, and you have to change the directory to be the location of fast boot. And I'm just dragging over, you can see my folder to command line on Windows. You will go up to the top and copy your directory in order to change it. So now I'm in this directory and all you have to type, on Mac you have to prefix it with a period and forward slash. On Windows, you just type what I'm typing now, fastboot, OEM, and then this will give you a long code in which you have to copy with no spaces and visit Motorola's website. I will put a link to this in the description. You will have to be signed in for this, and you just input that code, no spaces, make sure you remove them in a text document, or simply copy each line individually, and can my device be unlocked? If it can be, then this will be available to you at the bottom as well as a button. So you will just have to go back. Remember that our phone is still in fast boot and type in fast boot OEM unlock and just input that code that they'll send you in an email. Remember, I'm not doing that though because this is already unlocked. Now that that's done, uh, the phone will technically be wiped back to its original state. Uh, so that's actually what I'm going to do in order to teach you next how to root it. Okay, so now I'm on the same position as you guys. My phone is not rooted, it's been wiped, it's back to its original state, uh, but the bootloader is unlocked. So before we go on, I want to make sure that you know uh, that if you do mess this process up, you're going to want to download your stock ROM, and this is a link for you to do so. I just used the first one on this list here, and this you can reflash in the event you mess up the Magisk flash or something in TWRP recovery, which we're going to do in a minute here. I will also leave a batch file I created to do it automatically on Windows. Usually the only thing you need to reflash if you mess up with Magisk, however, is the boot image. So once you download that, if you think you're gonna need it, you're going to have to download no Verity opt encrypt. This is so the phone can reboot after we're done flashing. Uh, and flashing Magisk or super user, depending on what you're using. And of course, you're going to need the TWRP to boot located here on XDA Developers. This is where Magisk is located. You're going to have to download the latest version, whatever that is. You also wait to download the Magisk Manager until we're done. And if you're not going the Magisk route, then you go ahead and download this super user file, whatever is latest on super user PHH. 
So that should be all the downloads for now. I went ahead and loaded these onto an SD card, but you can put them into the phone's internal storage when you're plugged into the computer you're using and you're booted on TWRP. But these should be all the downloads that you need for this root process. So as you can see, I just booted my device and it's telling me the boot builder is, is unlocked now. If you are reflashing the stock ROM, then you want to make sure uh, that you do a reboot because the phone has to be encrypted and by rebooting you're actually going to have the phone encrypt uh, for installing Magisk. All right, so the next thing we got to do is flash TWRP. Actually, we're not going to be flashing in this tutorial because as of the filming of this video, there is no custom TWRP for the Moto E4, so we can actually flash one. I've tried to flash this one and it, it doesn't work. So we're actually going to have to boot from it, as you can see the command above here that I just cleared. Uh, it's in my downloads folder. Remember I said to download this one. And what I'm going to do, make sure you're in the fast boot folder as before. Fast boot, boot, not flash, TWRP, wherever the location is of this image. And as you can see on the phone, it is now booting to this TWRP. And this is what we're going to be using to flash Magisk in order to root the device. So it's very important that this screen pops up here. If this doesn't pop up, it means that your Moto E4 is not encrypted. And if it's not encrypted, you're going to have to make sure that you go into the settings on your phone and uh, encrypt it, or you can reflash your stock ROM as I explained earlier, and then you can actually boot up to that and it'll automatically encrypt. So make sure you click cancel here. And I also keep read only here. That screen will almost always pop up, but that also has to pop up for this to work. So we're good here. The next thing I'm gonna do is just go to install, select storage, micro SD. As I said, if you don't have a micro SD, like I've unplugged in here now with all the uh, essential files we need, uh, then what you're just gonna have to do is dump it on here from your PC when you're booted to TWRP or when you're booted to the operating system and find the files that you got here. I need Magist 13.3 here and we're just going to go ahead and flash this. Okay, so this is working just fine. If you get a boot image error one, uh, it usually means that your phone is not encrypted. So that's successfully flashed. And the next thing we're going to have to flash is that no Verity opt script. So once these things are done, uh, all you have to do is reboot the system and you should technically have root access. Now, the one last thing we have to do is install the Magisk Manager. And if you were planning on doing a non-systemless root and you wanted to use just PHH super user, it's basically an alternative to Chainfire super user, then what you'd have to flash is this file right here, the R259 that I didn't show. Uh, since I'm using Magisk, I'm flashing that one. And then when you actually boot back into your phone, you would have to install PHH, PHH uh, Super User Manager, uh, which I'll leave links to these in the description if you're interested in doing it that way. I prefer the systemless route from Magisk, however. So I'm just gonna go ahead and actually set up my device here since it was completely wiped. So from here on the phone, I just went ahead and downloaded the latest Magisk Manager. And this is basically it. Um, once you get on here, um, it, there you go. There, there should be two check marks here. If there aren't two check marks, it means you're not properly rooted. And Magisk Manager is basically serving as super user for those of you who have rooted before. And yeah, that's basically it. Your phone is now rooted. Yeah, that is how to root your Moto E4 generation. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, I recommend you pick one up for making money. I think it's a nice future-proof phone. Literally just released and it's a good price. You pick it up used or something. Uh, the Amazon Prime version also is cheaper. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later and have fun making money. Thank you for watching this video meant to help you make more money with smartphones and computers. The link above me is a link to my website with the Getting Started series and a cash archive section where you can sort through hundreds of smartphone apps that make you money. Any more specific questions can be directed to me at my contact page or on any of the communities listed this way.